Hey guys, how's it going? The Torrent 11 here. I'm back. Um, I hope you guys are doing excellent. And um, I hope you guys enjoy my videos thus far. If you haven't seen my videos yet, you can um, always look on the sides, the plated videos and such. You can find something there. Or you can um, just go to my channel and you can watch my videos there. Um, always comment and subscribe on my videos, but above all, always enjoy. And I am here today with another little game video. Today we are going over my personal, or at least one of my personal game, favorite games, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Oh yes, a good classic computer game. Um, and this, the moral of this entire game is that, you know, you build your own park, um, you know, you can just do everything from the ground up, introduce your dinosaurs to the public and whatnot, anything else. Uh, today, I'm just going to go over some, uh, well, I'm just going to show off my park, basically. <laughs> um, I, um, not five-star attraction yet, but it's a pretty big park, um, and we'll see in a minute. No game. Alright, here we go. Uh, this park right here took a little bit of time to do. Um, it took a little bit of modification to do in the computer files. Um, such as changing the amount of people that come to the park, the amount of dinosaurs you can have, and one on anything else. And here it is. A very it's large good to know park. You're keeping an eye on things. Safari all the way over here. Not the really best safari in the whole world, but yeah, it's good. And the park itself is right here. Very cool. Now what I like about this game is that it allows you to basically do anything you want. It can make you control the price of everything. Hi there. Um, yeah, it makes you do a lot of stuff. Um, the amount of dinosaurs you can have, uh, the lifespan of your dinosaurs as well. Just like I said, everything. You can do anything. Or at least you can change everything in this game. In this game, it allows you to not only have your own park, but it grants you at least 25 different species of dinosaurs. I'm just going to show you the dinosaurs that I have in my park and my paddock. In this paddock here, we have your small dinosaurs. So we have Homalocephale, uh, we have Gallimimus. Um, who else do we have here? We have Pachycephalosaurus, and we have this little guy over here, Dryosaurus. So your small dinosaurs here, like I said. In the next paddock, all the way over here, we have your armored dinosaurs. So we have... Urgent message from John Hammond. Oh, that means we got a little update. Hold on, let me look at that. Uh, performance feedback. Your park rating has increased by four and a half stars. The park's fame is spreading. Yay! So we only need one more star, or at least one more half star, and we have a five star attraction park. Awesome. So anyway, uh, we have Stegosaurus here. Sorry. Um, we have an Ankylosaur. And we have uh, this little guy over here, the Kentrosaur. In my opinion, the most annoying dinosaur in the game. This and Dryosaurus. They're just so annoying to take care of because this guy is always afraid of everything. And the Dryosaur just keeps on dying all the time. <laughs> okay, and anyway, in this paddock here, we have your sauropods, your long necks. Uh, so we have Brachiosaurus, this big guy here, and we have Camarasaurus. Now, what I really like about this paddock, especially, is that it's right in front of the main gate so that they get to see the big dinosaurs first. Pretty cool. Anyway, we have in this paddock your ornithopods, your larger duckbills and iguanodonts. So we have uh, this giant Edmontosaurus, this is your largest in the game. We have Uranosaurus, this is your iguanodont. Uh, Corythosaurus, and the famous Parasaurolophus. Here. Yes, yes, I only have two here because I didn't really want to make this too crowded. The 
that's, that's the thing too, you never want your paddocks to be too crowded, or else your dinosaurs are going to get a coma and they're going to die. Yes, it's that basic. <laughs> so this paddock here, we have your ceratopsians, your horned dinosaurs, so we have the famous triceratops, we have styracosaurus, and we have torosaurus over here. Hold on, there we go. Now, I know the whole thing about Taurosaurus and Triceratops being the same kind of dinosaur, but it wasn't announced at this time when the game was made. <laughs> anyway, um, and from here on out, we have the carnivore paddocks. Um, so in this paddock right here, we have Velociraptors, as we kind of just went before. He passed this already. And their uh, JP3 skin. The paddock above, we have Albertosaurus, a small cousin of T-Rex. Of course, we all know that. <laughs> well, at least, I hope we all know that. And the paddock beside there, we have Ceratosaurus, who made a brief cameo in uh, JP3, not a huge cameo, but a good enough one. And here we have Dilophosaurus. Your spitting dinosaur. So these are your small carnivores right here. Everything above that is your large carnivores. Now here we have um, two different dinosaurs, uh, but they do belong in the same family, the Carcharodontosaurus. Here we have the Carcharodontosaurus, and we have Acrocanthosaurus. Yes, they do belong in the same group. If you don't believe me, then go look it up on Wikipedia. <laughs> and the one here, we have Allosaurus. We only have two. I think... Oh, really? What do we have? You prepared a new part of your examination. What do we have? We really need to discuss this. Don't look like you're impossible. You must get more dinosaurs. But I have every single dinosaur. What the heck, man? Well, anyway, this is your Allosaur paddock. Pretty cool dino, one of my favorites. And then your last two up here, uh, kind of your five-star attraction. That's right, we have the Spinosaurus. Very large, very cool. And last but certainly not least, my all-time personal favorite dinosaur, Tyrannosaurus Rex. The coolest dinosaur in the game, in my opinion. Well, that wraps up with the dinosaurs. Anyway, uh, let's go to the safari, shall we? So this is my safari. Large dinosaurs, lots and lots of dinosaurs. Cantrosaurs all the way over here, because like I said, they don't like anyone at all. So I put them all the way over here. So they don't get stressed. Here's your safari car. Yep, yep. So let's drive. While we're out of let's take some pictures. So in your safari car, it allows you to take pictures, drive on your safari, and whatnot. Oh yeah. There is your, um, the little ride. Now, what does he want? So there you have it there. You want to be careful not to hit any dinosaurs, but it's really hard not to because it's just so dense in this here forest. We're just gonna return this car back to the Yep. So this is another entrance that I made for the park. Uh, there's the balloon. As we see, it is now going up. Pretty cool. Now this thing over here is your viewing desk. Certainly. This allows you to, you know, just view your dinos from ground level. <laughs> Very cool, very cool. But other than that, that's
that just basically wraps it up. It's a very large part. It took a lot of time to make this, as I said. Um, but anyway, I think that wraps it up, folks. Uh, just wanted to show off my park. <laughs> um, always subscribe for more videos. Um, especially, um, always comment. Comment and subscribe. But more importantly, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Kind of a random video, but eh, I liked it anyway. It was fun. Um, I think later on I might do an actually um, a tutorial or something, or a how to build your park video. So stay tuned to that. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed. This is the Tyranno 11 signing out. Thanks for watching.